Uh, I have to do a lot of waffling to allow Mr. Colin Turner to change from bass sax to forward facing recording tube, he says. Yeah. It's not easy. It has a, a truss and a harness and other medical devices to enable him to switch. Right, that's the final music. Well, that's the least of your worries. About. <laughs> well, well, the big, it's called, it's uh, one of the pieces uh, done by um, Louis Armstrong in his Hot Seven in the year 1927. And uh, Norman Field will be Mr. Johnny Dodds. Uh, <laughs> 
but uh, yes, he looks, he's turning colour. <laughs> Gradually, I can see the, the, the musical chameleon woman. <laughs> Uh, demonstrate Mr. Dodds' vibrato, please, Mr. Phil. I just, just been to the toilet and a bloke came up to me and he says, have you heard this one about the banjo? Like that. How often do you think that happens? <laughs> I'm always getting propositioned in the wrong places. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, a young lady in the audience who went, uh, it is Debbie Arthurs, who's the most superb 1920s singer. She's playing with her own band, When? Tomorrow, midday. So uh, I'm dragging her up to sing a number with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Debbie Arthurs. Hey! Well, that's great. 
the cords. Yeah, and and Ed Mark Hanshaw used to wear those cords all the time. <laughs>
lovely Debbie. And sung by Ivy Anderson, who was a Duke Ellington singer at that time. So Tom is just doing a last minute bit of makeup to. Uh, with all God's children got them. <laughs> Good condition. Oh right. We, we really want to uh, 
yes. the matchsticks in a minute. Yes. Break a few hammers. So we're going to do a, a, a piano duet with drumming accompaniment. So, uh, what tune have you decided that we may do? No, it wasn't that. You decided something else. I know, because you said so earlier. Yeah. What was it? I thought, what, I thought we decided for something else for this evening. Um, oh, what was it? Oh, you're right, yes. Yeah. Yes, you're right, okay. There was something yeah. else for this evening. There is something else for this evening, because we're doing uh, this evening, you see, so we've got a blockbuster for tonight. So we won't do that now, we'll do the other one. Somebody Loves Me. Are you going to sing it, Nicholas? Uh, if um, the audience can tolerate it. If they, well, if they, what do you reckon, folks? The silver vocal cords. All right. So nice and uppish. Uh, as much as you did. Yeah. Yes, please.
jazz musician anywhere in the world way back to 1840 he's got the music I see Froggy Moore there don't, don't play Froggy Moore when we're playing the, the, this other one from Monday on, okay Don't tell 
And it's a big spider back night, I was reminded. It's meant to be a big spider back night, you see. We've, we've neglected the poor old bugger. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we're going to make up for that now. Although I, I, I'm quite sure that Bix may have very well played most of the numbers. You never know. Yeah, it's it's you never know. So we're going to do one of Bix's great favourite pieces. It's called Sing in the Blues. And uh, it is not the Tommy Steele. <laughs> now it's Sing in the Blues by J. Russell Robinson. Sing in the Blues till my daddy gets home.
Backyard. We, all we have to find out is whether we've got it in the same keys. <laughs> Nicholas, he's got it in E flat. All right. Colin Turner, any advance on E flat? <laughs> Will you do us a nice version of E flat? <laughs> Oh, 
the fences of blue I'm waiting for you Back in your own backyard You'll see your castles in Spain Neat your window pane Back in your own backyard Now you may go to the east, go to the west Someday you come, now cheer your heart Back where you've started from You'll know the happiness lies Right under your eyes Back in the own backyard doing Joe Venuti and things like this. Uh, we have to do um, an Eddie Lang guitar piece now. And uh, Eddie Lang was uh, Joe Venuti's great partner and Bing Crosby's personal accompanist. And uh, he wrote some beautiful, he was the first jazz guitarist, he wrote some beautiful um, pieces of music. And this is one of them, which he, uh, I think he wrote this for his wife. And I, I'll tell you, one of uh, Eddie Lang's greatest fans was a bloke called Segovia. And, uh, and every time Segovia played in Italy, he always played this number at the concerts in honour of his old mate Eddie Lang. There you go. So, it's called April Kisses.
Christmas Tune from 1923 called The Charleston. Again, it's Terras. Right. The trouble with Nick is that he's got a very low seat, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so well, you look, you look he's, he's about two inches off the floor. Right. Take it away. Take it away. He might sing as well.
It wasn't, they didn't add years till, till later, so the big broadcast in 1932. Please. No, <laughs> Please, lend a little air to my plea. Lend a ray of cheer to my plea. Tell me that you love me too. Hold you here in my arms I can find delight in your charm Every night the whole day through Your eyes reveal That you have a soul on An angel white as snow How long must I play the role of a gloomy 
from me all Say you're not intending to cheat. Speed that happy ending and please tell me that you love me too. I think you've got a very good performance as an audience. <laughs> Marvellous. Almost professional. Wonderful. We'll come and watch you again.
Louisiana, I'm sad, I'm mighty sad. Louisiana, Louisiana, boy, I'm glad, I'm mighty glad. The train is going, the whistle's blowing, here I come, here I come. I'm tired of rowing, that's where I'm homing, back to happiness and then some. Louisiana, no place is grander, I do declare. I do declare, now no friends are truer, no skies are bluer, anywhere, anywhere. Now take me to your heart, give me another star. I'm a little child, always running wild. Louisiana, Louisiana, my own. Wit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nick Gill. <laughs> Banjo, guitar, ukulele, crooning, and uh, asides. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas. <laughs> I nearly said Fats Waller there. <laughs> Thomas Spats Langham. Very similar.
at the Grand Jazz Percussion Kit, we have the legendary Nick Wall. <laughs> at the plumbing, ladies and gentlemen, spare parts for your cars can be found here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Colin Turner. A wonderful player. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten his name. I'm counting his instruments. He's got a clarinet. He's got a, a, a E flat alto. He's got a, a C melody saxophone that is beyond price. And he's got about eight penny whistles, which he hasn't touched tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Norman Field. Might you touch them? In, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at the cornet and the trumpet, doing a wonderful job. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Andy Wood. <laughs> and guest star, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Piggott at the violin. <laughs> and we'd like to sign off. There's a lovely old number written by Harry Barris, one of the rhythm boys that uh, played with Paul Whiteman. It's called From Monday On. And uh, not forgetting our leader, Mr. Keith Nichols. Oh. Thank you. 
the collegians. Nick Gill, Beth Langham, Nick Ward, Colin Turner, Norman Field, Andy Wu, Keith Nichol, Mike Piggott. Thank you. Good night, Commissioner. Thank you.